hello everybody and welcome back to another tag this is a fall tag that I am doing and I'm so excited because you know I love doing tags this one is called the fall Q&A tag and I saw it on earth I don't know if it's hearth or earth and soul and his name is Sean but I'll have his channel linked in my description box so please check out his channel and uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, there are 10 questions and a few extra ones that's called quick fire so let's jump right in okay number one has the current pandemic changed the way you are going to spend autumn uh, yes to a point I say yes to a point I don't know if we're going to get together as a family, you know, going over to people's houses and having dinner. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, you guys, this year. It's just, um, I don't know if I feel comfortable getting together, especially in a large group, you know, of people. Uh, we may just have our Thanksgiving and Christmas right here in this house, just the three of us. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. We'll see. Number two. Are you a pie person? And if so, what's your favorite autumn pie? No, not really. I'm not a pie person per se, although I do like some pies. I'm more of a cake person. But I love me a nice, delicious sweet potato pie. Mmm, mmm. And yeah, I like to cook those too. So I would say sweet potato pie. It's so good. But I like cake better. Cake is so much tastier. Okay. Number three. Have you ever made a pie? And if so, do you... And if... Wait a minute. Have you ever made a pie? And if not, do you want to? I have made a pie, yes. I normally make sweet potato pies. Um, I don't really make any other pies. A lot of them I don't even know how to make. Um, I could, you know, go by the recipe, but I just choose to just stay what works best. You know, my family likes sweet potato pies, so that's what I make. Okay, next one. Number four, do you have a favorite fall comfort food? I sure do, and that would be macaroni and cheese. Mmm. But, you know, I don't eat that anymore. But I need to start learning how to make a vegan macaroni and cheese. Because, you know, I don't eat meat anymore. And for the most part, I don't uh, eat dairy. So I need to learn how to make it vegan. It's much more healthier for you anyway. So, five, your favorite fall color. Orange, brown, yellow, green, red, etc., etc. Well, I love red, and if you know me, you know I love red, red, red. But uh, I would say red and burnt orange. It's something about that burnt orange. I love the color. It's so deep, it's rich, and it just looks better than the traditional orange bright color. So red and burnt orange are my favorite colors. Six, do you decorate your home for the fall? Of course I do. Yes, that's what I do. I decorate. Um, put these on. If you do, what is your favorite piece? Um, my favorite piece would be pumpkins. I like to lay out the pumpkins. They're so pretty. And uh, candles. Oh, love candles. I love my house to smell nice and warm and just different fragrances. I have different candles in every room, pretty much. And it just makes the house smell so good, you know, so nice. And when people come in, they'll say, ooh, it smells so nice in here. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. That's my candles for you. But yeah, I like pumpkins and candles. So that's pretty much it. Number seven your favorite fall traditions? Um, I've answered this question many times before, but um, I don't know if I really actually have a favorite 
Uh, I'm just gonna say decorating for the fall. That's a tradition that I always do since I've you know, gotten into decorating. I love decorating for the fall. I mean, it brings me joy coming into this office and all of my other rooms and just putting decor in different places and getting a nice throw blankets and laying them out on the couch. Oh boy, I just love it. Number, number eight, your favorite autumn fragrance, maple, Pumpkin, apple, brown sugar. Uh, I would say apple. I love apple. And I don't mind having um, apple with pumpkin. You know, that smells pretty good too. But I don't really like um, the brown sugar. Well, really, I've never really smelled it, but I don't think I'm gonna like it anyway. So we'll stick with apple. <laughs> Number nine, your favorite autumn candle and are you a seasonal burner? Favorite fall candle. Um, I love the one that smells like leaves by Bath and Body Works. That is nice too. I like uh, anything apple, pum apple pumpkin put together, like I just stated before. Not pumpkin by itself, but apple pumpkin. It smells so good. And there's another one that Bath and Body Works has. It's uh, apple caramel. That smells really good too. And am I a seasonal burner? Um, no, not really. I burn my candles throughout the year, whenever and whenever I want to, and however I want to, as often as I want to. <laughs> That's pretty much how I do. Just whenever, however. Okay, that was nine. Okay, almost lost the question. Number 10, your favorite fall memory. Oh man, favorite fall memory. As a child, you know, we would get together over my grandmother's house, especially when I wasn't living there. Everybody would come to the house. I mean, my great grandmother was there. She would cook like 14 pies, 10 cakes or more. I mean, we had food galore. We had ham, we had ham hocks, uh, chicken, beef, turkey legs, uh, gizzards, the nasty, um, what's that, chitlins, Ooh, chitlins, nasty, nasty, nasty. <laughs> uh, we had all of the traditional foods. I mean, we had tons and tons of foods and people would come over, you know, people from our church would come by and eat and talk and my grandmother's house is pretty much big like a mansion and it was just so warm and cozy. The fireplace would be going. <laughs> Am I painting a good picture for you guys? I had the most wonderful, wonderful childhood, especially for the season, you know, the fall season. So that's what we would do. We would get together and just eat and just have a glorious time. And I miss that, I really do. Those days are gone. Great grandmother, grandmother is no longer here. And you know, family just doesn't get together like we used to anymore. Um, it's just sad, it makes me feel sad when I think about it, but those were the nice traditions. Okay, that completes the 10 questions. Let me make sure. Now these are a quick five, it's called quick fire. You answer, love it or hate it. It's just that simple. Number one, apple cider, hate it. Number two, real maple syrup, hate it, even though I haven't had it. <laughs> you would say, well, how do you know you hate it if you haven't had it? I don't think I have, you know. I think I've tasted maple syrup, but real maple syrup, I'm just gonna say hate it, because it doesn't sound like it would taste good. <laughs> Squash, oh, I love squash, especially with the yellow and the green together. So good. That's one of my favorite vegetables, so love it. Number four, molasses, yuck, hate it. Yeah, I've tasted that. No, I don't do molasses, anything. And the last one, warm, warm apple crisp. Oh, yes, love it. 
Mmm, you guys are making me hungry with these questions. <laughs> Oh, I love it, love it, love it. But anyway, that completes the tag. So simple. And you guys know, for those of you who know me, I love, love, love doing tags. I really do. So when I saw this one from Sean's channel, I said, oh gosh, yes, he finally did a new one. So I'm going to jump in on that. Now, I'm not going to tag you. If you want to do this tag, feel free. And if you would like me to see your video, just let me know down in the comment section that you will participate. Check my description box because I'll have the questions down in there so you can just copy and paste them, okay? Alright guys, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed my answers. Let me know down in the comments if you did. Please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not yet subscribed to the Jazzy Green Decor Style, please click on that subscribe button and double tap your bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload videos, okay? And if you're not following me on Instagram, please go there and follow me at Jazzy Green Decor Style, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you, Sean, for doing this tag and I will catch you guys later. Have a blessed day, bye.